Hey guys, what's up? Zach here or Z Tutorials, and today we have part five of the website tutorial series. If you don't know, we are creating this little movie website here. As you can see, it's it's uh, got a rollover navigation, a search, uh, left content area, a right side, and a footer area. And last time we created uh this divide for the content and the right side and we just want to move on to creating this footer you see here so let's waste no time and just take a look at what we need so there are four elements to doing the footer we have the footer itself which is with 100 percent as you can see with that gray background then we have another part which contains it's going to be a div which centers it so that's going to be this whole section you see here and then we have the left side which is contact with us or connect with us and sitemap so four elements there all to do in this tutorial so let's hop into dreamweaver again you don't need dreamweaver personally i prefer notepad plus plus that is free if you want to use that so let's start off by just saying uh the footer so it's a html5 tag it's just simply called footer we're going to open and we're going to close that there's no need to give it an id Inside the footer, we're going to have another element, as I said, which was our centering. So let's have a div ID and call this the footer center, which is going to hold everything in the center for us. We're going to close that baby off. Now inside this guy, and you will notice I'm indenting as I go, but that's just so everything's going to be neat and tidy. We're going to give a section ID of, what's this one, social links. So this is our left side. I'm going to name this social links and then we're going to close this and then we're going to have another one which is a section ID of sitemap and you will notice here that I didn't indent this last part like I did in the rest of them that is because the indenting basically means that it's a, a son or a daughter a child to the, the tag closer to the edge. So this footer center is a, is a child to the footer. The section is a child to the div. Uh, this section is a child to that div as well. So that's just so you can keep it up. Now I'm just gonna have a little divide here. Inside this social section, we're just gonna put a nice H3 so we can see what we're doing. We're just gonna call this uh, connect with us, I think is what we called it and the exact same thing i'm going to cheat a little here and copy and paste just to speed up the process uh safe map okay so we're going to save that and that is basically our html done we have a footer we have an, a div with the footer center and it's a div because it basically means nothing it's meaningless it's not it's holding all it is it is it's centering the content so that's why we use sections for where there's content so section inside that there is content as you can see there's a h3 inside there and of course there will be all those uh pictures inside there and the site map does of course have content in it as well so let's move on to the css now let's bring in those four elements we just named one was the footer the next one was open and closure uh parentheses just so we can see what we're doing. The next one was an ID and it was called footer center, if, I, if I'm right. And if I spell any of these wrong, you probably should go in and copy and paste just so you won't spell anything wrong. The next one was a section. It was an ID of, oh, it was a social links, I think. I should know, I should check, except I'm too lazy. And the next one was an ID of sitemap. And I realized I messed up there, I'll change it in a second. Take me that little thing there. Okay, so let's start off with the footer. As I said, that is a width of 100%. That's the first thing we know. Let's just specify a height. And the height I'm gonna have is no greater than 170 pixels. So let's just give that 170 pixels in height. Let's give this a background color. And I'm gonna give it a a light grey that I really do like, I use it quite a bit. It's a E7, 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 and that's a nice light grey. And then we're going to have a border on the top of one pixel, solid and black. Or hash 0000, zero, zero, zero black code and hex. 
let's save that and view it in a browser so over here so this is what we had we had nothing with a few minutes we just created this so as you can see our footer our actual footer is looking pretty good there is our black border on the top there's our gray background it's a width of 100 percent and it's a height of 170. now these are not uh have any style into them yet so they're just gonna be what's called block they're just gonna take up the whole 100 percent and take up a line each so let's change that right now let's first off center it so footer center of course to center something you do need a width so we're gonna have the width as what we had the whole time which was 900 pixels and then our little centering code which is margin left auto and margin right auto if you're not following along uh the last few tutorials have gone over all of this this stuff here so that's why i'm not explaining things perfectly well to you we're going to specify a little height for the footer center as well just because i want a little space in the bottom so a height of 145 pixels and then i want to have a border on the bottom of one pixel uh dotted dotted just basically means i'll show you what it does uh in just a second i'm getting ahead of my typing and i'm not paying attention right the color for this is going to be triple c which is a i don't know i should do it darker triple e triple e we'll try that uh just a dark gray and let's take a look at that guy and see what happened so save that and it did center it, but the border did not work. So I did something wrong with the border. Oh, I get it now. Uh, basically, my my gray is not very gray. If you just take a look here, EE is lighter than the, the, the color. I wanted a dark one, so that's 333. So let's save that and just take a look just so you guys can see. There is our dotted black line. So now we're gonna split up our left and our right side. So social links. Now there are two ways you could do this. You could set the width to 50%, which is what's called responsive web design. And basically it'd be kind of a liquid design. I'm not gonna go into what it actually does because I plan on making a video about it later on. It's a really cool concept, but since this whole website is not responsive, it is, it's just a static site. We're just gonna give it a, a normal width and that width is gonna be 435 pixels and the height is going to be 100% and if you're wondering why I'm doing 100% and not like up here I had um, 145 why not put 145 pixels here it's so if I want to change the height of the footer uh, I'm going to have to change it in one place instead of two and let's have a border on the right of this guy uh, because it's floating left and I should do the float left first but let's just put a border one pixel dotted and that nice dark grey that we had above which will sink in nicely why can't I type today uh, yeah let's just float this guy left so this is the left content so obviously it's gonna float left um, and for the right side you can basically just copy and paste this the only thing that's different is which side it's floating to and which side the border is on so it's floating to the right this time and it's got a border on the left and I just completely messed that up Float right. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Save that and view it in the browser. Da bing. And there you go. You have your left side, your right side. Now you can style this more. You can put uh, an underline on this, whatever you want. That's just a basic example of what it does. Of course, you do want to have your copyright there. Now you've gone into the main site there. If you do, if you did want to have your uh, your copyright there, you would have it outside the footer center. Uh, you'd have a div ID of copy and you'd basically just put in a P tag inside there saying uh, copyright so let's just put that in really quick and it's probably going to be too large but we'll just take a look anyway there's your copyright uh, you can center that if you want whatever it doesn't really matter that's just an example of how easy it is to edit your HTML so that's it guys that was our footer pretty simple I added, of course, if you look at mine, I added uh, images here. I changed the color of this, the, the size of this. Uh, I brought this into the center. Uh, I put a list here. And this, these are just links. This is as simple as doing your nav. It's the exact same stuff. You can basically copy and paste this whole section here, this UL to this UL. 
Uh, it's just style different, that's the only difference. And once you know to do the nav and style the nav, you should be able to do the this whole this whole mumbo jumbo here pretty easily. But that's it guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry this dragged on a bit long. I do seem to ramble quite a bit. But if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like as it does really help me out in the long run. Thank you all so much for watching. A new video, hopefully next week. Uh, I have one already made, so this is not an empty promise this time. I've had a bit of trouble with YouTube. Anyways, stop the rambling. The video's over. Goodbye. Hey, Bloys, what's up? Bloys, what the fuck? So if we just pop into Breamweaver, Breamweaver, what the hell is wrong with me today? So in here you can put your copyright, uh, whatever you want here, boobs, I can't be saying that.